Rahim, the topic is of functions for O levels. Okay, so just concentrate here. We have three functions I took as a sample. Function of, uh, how to pronounce f of x. Okay, f of x. This bracket is pronounced by of. Uh, so g of x is given here. H of x. So these names can be changed even. Sometimes you can write m of x, k of x, l of x. No trouble at all. Okay. Uh, he can ask you, he given these things, he can ask you this, okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So first question he is asking G of minus 2. So let's see how we can find. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim A part. So when he asking G of minus 2, I will copy first function of G. Full, exactly. First of all, without any change, copy the function. After copying all x's, you have replaced by empty spaces. Like how many x's you have, leave empty spaces. You can see here, x, empty space, empty space, and, and rest everything same. So this minus 2, I will replace here, here, and here. So this becomes 4, this becomes minus 4, and minus 1. 4, 4 cancel, ultimately g of minus 2 is equal to 1. This is my first question. Let's go for b part. B part is clear, so we have to put this function. Here I put actually this minus 2 I replace in the function of G, it is very visible. Now here I will put function of F in G. Because I have to put function F in G, so first of all I will copy G function. So as usual I will copy X function. Okay, done. Again same story, empty space here, empty space here. 2 times to empty space and minus 1. How many x's? Empty space, empty space and empty space. Now I will, uh, this is called function name for your knowledge. This is called function name, function name and this is called function value. Function value. So when I put function name left hand side and function value right hand side. So uh, uh, name of function is fx I'm writing here. And its value is 2x plus 5 I'm copying here and copying here as well. Now I have to solve only and I have less space so I'm writing a little bit here. So open the bracket. We have two choices. Write it two times and multiply. And second use identity a plus b whole square expansion. So first term square I'm opening here this way plus 2 into first term into second term and plus second term square is the answer of this part. 2 twos are 4x, 2 fives are 10 and minus 1. So I have this thing is clear. Right. So let's move on next one. Okay. Next step is very clear. Square of 2 gives you 4 and x square 2 twos are 4, 4 fives are 20. So 20x and 25 and this 4x and solve these two get plus 9. And my last step is here, g f of x is equal to uh, 4x square. How many 2x term? 20 plus 4 becomes 24x and this becomes 34. So I have finished my second part. Now I'm going for part number C. Difference here and here, only one difference. Here we have an x, here we have a number. When you have a number, so first I will put 1 in g. And after putting that, put the whole thing in F. Right? Step by step. If we have a no number, so put the whole function in G. If we have a number, so first put number in G and then put function in F. So let's start one by one. Step by step. I'm doing C part here. Okay, first of all, I will put 1 in G. Because I have to put 1 in G, so first of all, I will copy G function. So G of X is x square plus 2x minus 1. How many x's leave empty spaces is a very clear now, alhamdulillah. Uh, after this, uh, I will replace every x by 1, 1, 1. So, so I replace here 1, here 1, here 1. So g of 1 is coming 1 and 2, 1, the 2 minus 1, ultimate I got 2. So my half job is over. I mean, I finished this job. I have to put the whole thing in F now. So I will write the word again. Just this, just not compulsory. Just telling the examiner that I'm doing the same process again. So 
Uh, this time I will be put in f, so first I'll copy function of f. So f of x is equal to 2 times x plus 5. Here empty space, 2 times 2 empty space plus 5. And here I will write function name, but where is the function name? This is called function name. So g of 1 I am writing here, and function value I am writing right inside. So 2 to the 4 plus 5, 9. This is my answer. You keep as it is or outer bracket you can remove even no issue. Both are perfectly same. This writing style or this writing style both are perfectly same. So C part over. Let's go D part. D part is inverse functions. Inverse functions let's start. D, what is the method of finding inverse? So first of all, uh, first of all function copy without any change function copy. So after copying, there are four steps total to find inverse. Uh, any function name, remove and write y. For example, function name is f, g, or h, remove and write y. Step one is over. Step number two is currently y subject. Currently y sub. I have to make x subject. So five will be a, and here plus become minus. To multiply will divide. I got x alone, side changes. And you know when side changes, no sign change at all. Okay, I got an X subject. So interchanging. Interchanging the word writing is not important to write. But if you write good, X become Y and Y becomes X. This is called interchanging of the variables. So now this is F. So this Y is called F inverse of X. And this is my answer. So this is a part number D finish. Now let's do E part. Repeat again for... If step number one function y, step number two make x subject, step number three interchanging, and step number four and remove y and write inverse function. Over. Let's talk about the e part. E part is saying that f of x is, sorry, g of x is equal to f of x. This is given by him. So apply, find out with g of x, this full value is going here. So x to power 2 plus 2x and minus 1 equal to g of x is here. So I can say 2x and plus 5. So simply bring on other side. This is a plus 2x and this becomes minus 2x and this part goes there. It becomes minus 6 equal to 0. This cancel. Okay, I got a 7. If we have an x also, imagine you have an x squared and x and a number. I have two choices, either factorization or quadratic formula. But luckily what happened in this question, x cancelled. So I have one choice only left behind what? Bring 7 on the other side like this. And take the square root other side, you know, root 7 and write here what? Plus and minus is compulsory. Okay. So this job is also finished. Let's talk about the f part. f part say what? f part says h of x is equal to 8. Okay. What is h of x? You can see that it is 2 to the power x. So here I'm copying in the place of 2 to the power x. And what is the 8 if you don't know? So 2, 4 is 8, 2, 2 is so 1, 2, 3. 2 to the power 3 equal to 8. Replace here 2 to the power 3. Is in this topic same basis, same basis, equate the, say that they are same, so leave and take the powers. And we got the answer simple. And last part, the G. He is asking 3G of x and minus 2f of x is what is answer. So let's see what answer comes. 3, when you talk about 3, so 3 times to g value and minus 2 times to f value. What is the g value? You can see the whole thing will go there. So x to power 2 plus 2x minus 1 and whole value of fx will go here. 2x and plus 5. Oh, multiply, I got 3x to power 2, 3 to the 6x, 3 1 the 3, minus 4x, minus 10, and my answer is this is coming 2x and minus 13. And this he was asking us that equal to what? And I got my answer. This is okay. Finish. Stop.